Yes, welcome to Jamaica Young Police Channel. To all loyal viewers, subscribers, and Patreon members, we appreciate your continued support. At our channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who firmly believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior and respect those who disregard these principles. We strongly believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. Yes, preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of life. Now, that's a logical conclusion. Our mission is clear, to save lives and stand against criminals. We are a platform not for criminals. We don't seek your views, subscriptions, likes, thumbs up, or comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. This channel is a sanctuary for justice. We firmly believe criminals belong in prison or the departure lounge at Madden's. So help me God and nowhere else. If you are new, to the Jamaica Young Police channel, we invite you to subscribe by clicking the subscription button and selecting all on the bell. You will stay informed whenever we release a new video. This channel is not about entertainment, it's about education, inspiration and motivation. We aim to instill a deep-seated hatred to criminals and corrupt police officers who are robbing the people whether they are drugs or their property. We hate thief and criminal police officers with a passion. Additionally, we have a Patreon channel where you can access exclusive videos that are unavailable on YouTube due to its rules and regulations. By subscribing to our Patreon, you support our cause, which thank you for being a part of our community. Now, let's move on to today's video. Well, today you're going to learn something new. Most of you um, who are from Jamaica or the Caribbean didn't even know this, even yours truly. Although I've served you know, in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, but there's a intelligence agency that we had in Jamaica called Special Branch. And the Special Branch, um, you know, it's would equivalent to um, the CIA, but it's just that um, they're just local. Yes, um, when we say local, they're local just in Jamaica. And um, yeah, they don't even have any Special Branch agent um, that, you know, that would be at the Jamaican consulate. They have like, um, you know, like, you know, you, you have detectives that are um, at the consulates in, you know, that's the, you know, the eyelids, the, the ones um, who are, you know, trained in a certain manner, like, um, as you would say, like ACP, MacArthur, Sutherland. Um, you have another guy, I, I can't call, and others too that I know that work um, even in America and, you would see them um, sometime in various Jamaican parade and stuff like that. But this, this now, this one um, boggles the mind, you know, this one is a shocker. Um, so now we know why they, they dismantled a um, special branch and the government hasn't reinstated them. So how the Jamaican government collaborated with Cuba and Russia to infiltrate American institutions. And today you're going to learn that. So the notion of Jamaican spies collaborating with Cuban and Russian intelligence agents to infiltrate US institutions like the CIA, FBI, military, Department of, uh, Department of Justice, Department of Defense is indeed intriguing and reminiscent of Cold War era espionage thrillers to expose the 
plausibility and historical context of such claims, let's consider the following key points. Historical contents. So you know the Cold War tensions. During the Cold War, the US and the Soviet Union with Cuba as a key ally were engaging in, in an intense espionage activities. It was common for both superpowers to attempt to infiltration and gather intelligence through various means. Two, Jamaican political climate. In the 1970s, Jamaica had a socialist leaning government under Prime Minister Michael Mande, who had friendly relations, relations with Cuba and the Soviet Union. This geopolitical alignment could have made Jamaica a potential ally in espionage activities against the US. Yeah, so uh, Special Branch is saying that some of these people that um, migrated from Jamaica to America, that was their job. So the PMP uh, criminal organization sent them here to the United States of America. So it's because they have this month uh, um, special branch, you know, we're getting all of these information now that Jamaicans didn't even know existed before. So Cuban and Soviet intelligence network, Cuba's intelligence agency, the direction, direction, the intelligence here, DI, and the Soviet KGB were highly active in recruiting and utilizing foreign nationals for espionage. Jamaica's proximity to the US could have made it a strategic location for such activities. So espionage operations, infiltration of US institutions, infiltration prestigious institutions like the CIA, FBI, and military is challenging due to rigorous background checks and security clearances. However, there have been documented cases of foreign spies suspects successfully penetrating these agencies. Methods of communication spies historically use various methods to communicate their handlers, including dead drops, coded message, encrypted communication and clandestine meetings. Digital communication has added another layer of complexity and opportunity for covert exchanges. Modern implication. One, so you have retired spies in the US. You know, spies were active and have since retired in the US. Their presence could pose a security risk mainly if they maintain connection with their former handlers or intelligence networks. Legal and diplomatic consequences. Uncovering a network of former spies could lead to significant dip diplomatic tension and legal actions. It would also necessitate through review of secure security protocols within US institutions to prevent further infiltration. Verification and analysis. You know, to substantiate the following, following to substantiate, substantiate these claims, the following step would be necessary: access to classified investigation information, investigating classified intelligence document from relevant periods might reveal evidence such as activities or you know them say testimonies and whistleblowers former intelligence officers or defectors from cuba russian or jamaican agencies could provide first-hand accounts or collaborative testimonies declassify reports reviewing re reviewing declassify cia fbi and department of justice report from the cold war era might shed light and known are suspected infil infiltration attempts. Why the claim that Jamaican government collaborated with Cuba and Russian intelligence to infiltrate US institution is sens 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 sensational and reminiscent of fi spy fi fiction 
is not beyond the realm of possibility given the historical context of the Cold War. To move from speculation to fact, thorough investigation and credible evidence are required. The potential implications for national security, diplomatic relations and historical understanding make this topic worthy of serious con consideration and further re research. So yeah, so what happened is that um, when the PMP government, uh, when they were in power, so they chose, remember that they sent uh, over 2,000 people to train in Cuba. So you would have people who migrate, um, so they have the same socialistic um, ideology, migrate to America, eat America, join the, um, the various agencies, and they still harbor that hatred towards the United States of America. And I'm serving that, and them. These are people who were, were spies for Cuba and Russia. So while they pretend that they were loyal to America, they were not loyal to America. They were loyal to Cuba and Russia. Cause they hate America. Wow! So these were Trojan asses. I never know this now. Oh, oh that. Oh, all oh, them people. All oh, them do it. Oh, you claim say you know you love America. Hello, you know love America still with us. Why well, I mean, I tell you no, this is a serious thing. So the hidden threat and feeling the motivation behind the betrayal in the U.S. security apparatus, infiltration of the U.S. security apparatus by individuals through the Jamaican Cuban program poses a significant threat to national security. There are several reasons why someone who entered the United States through the program will betray, might betray the country. And understanding these motivations is crucial in addressing and mitigating this danger. Lingering communist beliefs. These individuals may have never abandoned the communist ideology instilled by the Brigadistas program. Despite appearing to assimilate, they might 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 view their actions as furthering a communist agenda. Their loyalty to Cuba and Russia could lead them to arm the US, believing that they were aiding a more significant cause. This ideology ideological commitment makes them dangerous operatives who can cause considerable damage from within. Nationalism over ideology even if they lean towards communist beliefs their primary loyalty could lie lie with jamaica they might perceive a strong cuba russia as beneficial to jamaica's interests these in individuals could have a resentment towards the u.s for past actions viewing betrayal as a way to settle scores their nationalism might drive them to support foreign powers that they believe will threaten their homeland even at the expense of the US. So the Cuban, so the Cuban or Jamaican government could possess compromising information on these inf individuals, forcing them to act as sleeper agents. Yeah, but that would not be now, that would be from then. So that's why the, uh, uh, so special branch would have special branch would have the file and these people who migrated from Jamaica. So why them never give the American them in the 80s after them uh, after the people them left Jamaica? Special branch should have should have hand them over to, to the Americans them and make them know who these people are, who in America that these people are, them know, them know the brigadist of them. That's why they were able to even Winston Meliodo um michael robert uh, whose current name is michael robert um, that's why they were able to kick him out of the police force and then michael man they make them bring him back in the 90s so what happened to the other people then so this leverage could lead to include past crimes threats to loved ones or fabricated evidence the fear of exposure or harm to their families could compel them to betray the U.S. regardless of their personal beliefs or loyalty. Some of these people, they have relatives live 
in Jamaica while they were serving at various levels in the security apparatus and various institutions in the United States of America. Wow, how that? Now you're not supposed to have once you serve in a day, in a day, you're not supposed to have no financial ties or anything like that back in a Jamaica. So you can be yeah, them do it because of financial gain. So when people are not loyalty and money is all them all about you know, you know, so them come like war. So war you know, war sleep with anybody, you know. So the lower of financial gain cannot be underestimated. Selling classified information might be highly lucrative and greed might outweigh any sense of loyalty to the US. Individual di driven by economic incentives pose a significant threat as their actions are motivated poorly, purely by self-interest. What's in it for me? Disillusion with America. Experiences in the US might lead to disillusionment, disillusionment witness social or political witness social or political injustices could turn these individuals against the country they infiltrate feeling betrayed or marginalized they might seek revenge by aiding foreign adversaries believing their negative experience is justified it yeah, so you know, normal when people migrate and come to America and them things, some people, you know, go through culture shock. And when they realize that uh, the things what they say on TV about life in America is totally different for them. Because they understand that in America and them things, for you, you live a certain life. Education is paramount. So if you don't have no skills or anything, that's why most, uh, most Jamaicans, uh, some Jamaicans will come to America and them things, they end up. I sell drugs because they are not educated, so they are not, so they are not competitive, so they can't compete for job, jobs. They understand because they don't have the education, so they end up at the corner, sell drugs, and then they end up at jail and then prison and get deported. So that's how I want to, you understand. So, you know, and people, you know, go through the culture shock when they just come and some people, and everybody can manage. Some people end up mad. I tell you, straight up in America, mad, 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 mad. Um, as you did see, um, happened with the farmer ex soldier in a yeah, same place in a Florida, yeah. And him, um, yeah, and him, him, some white people trouble him and him shot, shot two of them, one dead and the other one, and they are the one that trouble him, you know. We're supposed to follow up on him case and see what's, what's the latest going on with him because we can't just leave him, you know, because one of our fellow Jamaicans, they understand. And we know it going a floor in America and them things because the entire America is south, you know. So all even people living in New York, you know, so they're still living in the South, you know, because racism is a part of a part of American culture. So why is these scenarios are possibilities rather than certainties? They underscore the potential danger posed by individuals with div divided loyalties and access to sensitive information. It is vital to consider these motivations to safeguard national security better. Additional points to consider double agent motive. Upon realizing the gravity of their situation, some individuals might become double agents. They could feed this information to Cuba and Russia while prov providing valuable intelligence to the US, depending on how effectively it is managed. This dual role can be both risk and an, opp an opportunity. Living a double life can be incredibly stressful. The pressure of maintaining a facade can lead to mistakes or emotional breakdowns, which might expose their true allegiances. So you can see, yeah, some, yeah so you don't know, so just listen to them rhetoric, you know, when them talk, they know, you understand? And the it's like even back home and them thing there like people who um who support michael man back then and not edward siaga all of them thing there. so for you hear them them live in america and you know and them support michael man you know said them not like america although they're in america because michael man was an antagonist you know and because michael man want to be the 
the president for life in Jamaica, they want to turn Jamaica into a communist state. So them now eat America, although them live in America, and you will never hear them say anything positive about Edward Siaga Ozan, who was more who was more an American prime minister than any other prime minister because now because in born in America but his policies of conservatism and so you, you, you have to listen to the, um, these people you know so once you know so they have a disdain for Edward Siaga they have a disdain for America too you, you have to understand so you have to add one and one together so when you talk with these people privately so in a Jamaican way you know that migrated from in you know, the 80s Yes, and them come on, them serve in the military or them serve in the CIA, Department of Justice, in the military or the FBI. Just listen to them talk. So you see, that's why we are telling you, knowledge of power, you know. So once them harbor that hatred towards Edward Siaga, is the same. Because Edward Siaga and America, and the none. So they blame Edward Siaga and America for what happened. In the 70s, why they never win the election in the 80s? And the bloodbath, all them kill people and issue guns and send people to train in Cuba. While Edward Siaga never sent a single person to train in any country for killing the Jamaicans. But yet, he's like my devil. The man who sent over 2,000 people to Cuba to train in a guerrilla warfare, explosive, and also kill other people, other um, black people. He's seen and revered as an angel. And I him send people who train for come back for kill black people. But the man who did not send any is being labeled as a, a devil. So make that make sense. And then you have these dummies. Even up on YouTube, I see a guy that um, said that uh, Mr. Vegas, uh, Mr. Vegas revealed himself saying my labor right. It would say I can never send one person <laughs> you know, to an ex country, to America for train, for come back and use explosive. To kill Jamaicans are training or use of firearm and receive any form of military training. The only somebody do that are Michael man. But yet still these people that no matter that no matter to them in a car, they don't see themselves as Jamaicans, they see themselves as PMP. And that's how people who are in cults and you know like the commun like communism, that's how them can think because their mind warp. Because if somebody, if you if you are, you live in a house. Just break it down like this. All right, you have two, you, have, you know, one of parents. All right, then tell them, them come back, then bring um, some form of pies, um, some form of, um, every time you tell eat your food, <laughs> you vomit and everything. And the next one, when you eat, you're all right. But the one that makes you vomit is the best of, better parents. Of both parents, so yeah, the one that make you vomit anytime you eat and make you feel, yeah, you understand. I better parents, but the one that make you feel, that make you have no harm to you, is the devil. And that's how they make Edward see how look. The man when I do no harm, never send up a single person to train for terrorize the Jamaican people. He's the devil. So make that make sense to me. And when I talk, I talk to. Um, I talked to other YouTubers, the one that labeled Edward Siaga as devil. Edward Siaga never sent a single Jamaican to America for train to come back to Jamaica for terrorize Jamaica. The only person to do that is Michael Manley on the era. And the reason why is just because I saw on the stay and everything. They want to like somebody on a licky licky. It's just like oh with all Bujiban and who no care about who no care about women or people who are witness to crime. I don't know, you know, just want to know, say, oh, for me, like him, just like with Vibes Cartel. For me, like him, him can't do nothing wrong on them thing. So, morality you now exists in these people's world. You understand? So, unearthing the truth. A thorough, a thorough investigation is essential. Identifying and neutralizing these infiltrators is critical to preventing harm. Um, Security agencies can develop strategies to uncover and mitigate threats by understanding their motivation and vulnerabilities. So you know, so these people, most of them, are supposed to retire as the as the special branch staff and you know, process are are some of them close to retired. 
To understand the motivation behind such action is crucial in safeguarding national security by considering the factors that might drive individuals to betray the U.S. Can, we can better identify potential threats and implement measures to protect our nation. The complexities of loyalty and ideology highlight the need for vigilance and, and a proactive approach to addressing these hidden dangers. So they call them the Trojan Arts. Oh, Cuban, three Jamaicans may threaten American security, a cause of concern. For decades, a disquieting story has simmered beneath the surface. The Jamaican government and the past administrations collaborate with Cuba communist regime. This collaboration including sending Jamaicans to be trained by brigadistas, a program indoctrinating indivi individuals into communist ideology. The alarming twist, some of these individuals harboring resentment towards America while encouraged to infiltrate the United States. The targets, sensitive positions within American security apparatus, the military, the CIA, and even the FBI. A betrayal on two fronts. Imagine a scenario where individuals sworn to uphold American security who hold deep-seated communist beliefs. These sleeper agents could be a grave threat. They could be collecting and leaking classified information, sabotaging operations, or influencing policies from within. The wolf in sheep's clothing. These individuals might have assimilated seamlessly possibly even becoming police officers or members of the Jamaican Defence Force back home. They may feign patriotism, blending into background while secretly adhering to, to a dangerous ideology. A call to action. We must acknowledge this potential vulnerability. A thorough investigation is necessary to assess the scope of this programme and identify any individual who may pose a threat. We cannot allow those who despise our values to exploit our system. So yes, yeah, so you have people in America who are serving at these agencies, but they despise America. Now once a year people echo Mike and Manly sentiment in the year. No said them they are people who eat America. Just like what you hear them say, which is true. And Michael Manley was an American antagonist. You know? So although Michael Manley did and God, him legacy still live on, and these people, as it say, them still in America, whether they retire or them still are served, them still eat America because they are a double agent. Because them, them see America as the one why them lose the, them lose the war in a Jamaica for, um, to turn Jamaica into a communist island. So that's why them after Michael Manley lose the election in the 1980s, you know, as that's how most of them migrate. That's why so many understand them migrate from, from then and them have them family back home and then infiltrate the American apparatus. So eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. So we must remain vigilant against those who, under the guise of patriotism, they seek to undermine the very foundation of American democracy and its allies, including Jamaica. So these are people you now where they come from Jamaica, they eat America, but they live in America. They eat America, but they, they come, giant virus institution, all because they might try all fair. So you know, say more or less, they might feed the enemies back in Russia and Cuba with information about America, because they're in a sensitive job. We have, you know, um, you have top secret clearance. So my highest clearance and them thing, we have access to certain documentation. Some of them might even, uh, they might not take picture, but they remember some document from top to bottom, word for word. Cause if you have a good memory and them thing, if you work in a certain agency. So these are traitors, you know. Jamaicans with serve in American um, various institutions, they were traitors. 
So remember, this is not a, an accusation against all Jamaicans. It's a call to be aware of potential national security risk and to ensure those entrusted with safeguarding our nation genuinely share our values. By raising awareness, we can protect America and its allies from those who seek to sow discard from within. How the Jamaican government collaborated with Cuba to infiltrate American institution, institutions in a covert and deeply concerning collaboration, the Jamaican government team up with Cuba to send some of their trained brigadistas to the United States to join the military, FBI and CIA. Despite their outward allegiance, these individuals harbor a deep-seated hatred for America serving two masters while embedded within the very institution meant to protect the nation. So why all all that was evil that still doing because the only is you know I have always said that oh yeah cause like for me you know like the people them from my community are Jonestown and Concrete Jungle and other part of, you know people expose uh, Michael Mann the philosophy and ideology. May I only say look here the way that you eat America. You're not supposed to live in America, you're supposed to go live in Russia or Cuba. But they know them not go Russia or Cuba, them go America. Because them not speak Russian or Spanish. So them go the same country where them eat. But why them never go England or Canada then? Why America? And then them come down and them join the various um, institution them. And then we don't even know what them do inside here. So these are people that were trained and them, you know, them migrate in America in the 80s and they migrate one sole purpose to infiltrate these institutions because they were them eat America so much I'll do them for really you not know, you know, to really get because I don't know I don't know anyone who exposed Michael Manley philosophy and ideology well of America I don't know not a single one of them they will live in America, but they hate America. And that does bug the mind. If you, I always say, anyone who is a PMP, criminal organization supporter, an activist, you're not supposed to live in America. You're supposed to live in Russia or Cuba. Because America is your greatest enemy. But as them say, hey, better you, you know, your enemy, better you're there amongst your enemy. But America is not for them enemy. America is just all about democracy, but these people are terrorists and criminal minded. So imagine this, mentoring on a communist ideology now operating within the art of American democracy. So you know these people, them, them know how to cause all kind of problem for the real a democracy. Because them train now, them, get, them have the training already from, them get the already from the Cuban and the Russian. And now them get it now for America, so them know how to cause problem in other countries and all of these things. Countries where them say a line are too close to America. Wow. So their presence pose a great grave threat as they feign patriotism while secretly working against the principles they pretend to uphold. These traitors to America and democracy still cling to their communists philosophies using their positions to undermine and sabotage democratic institutions from within. So you have to understand that some of them some, some of them um, them narrative are, are you know rhetoric them lost them them lie them lie about things and pretend yeah them them lie about everything and them not ashamed in the car. you have to understand say their job you know their job is not to uh, make things better for um for others but just to cause you know, so this card, you know, these people are just the epitome of evil. Oh, oh, you do something like that. As me, you know, between me and you, as me, I would never, you know, something is wrong in a nation, you know, that, um, you know, someone would leave their country because the, the age of them are for the other country. And they wanna do anything for destroying you know the 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 country because of them hatred for the country. I see me uh, you know you, you you know 
Um, yeah, as them say, you know, you should be flattered. There was a group effort to take you down and you are still standing. You understand? And Jesus is a stone. You, the builder, rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, but there is no other name under heaven given to mankind, which must be the truth. These people, them not speak truth. Them just lie about everything. Them not speak truth. That's the that are them foundation. And knowing the truth and seeing the evidence of the truth, but still believe the lie. That's how them do it. They know so what they must say a lie, you know. But them still repeat the lie. And ignore the truth. That's how these people operate. Them not have no deep ethics about them. Morality. I just evil. Everything for them I just evil, evil, evil. And their part. So these individuals, some of whom were, were police officers or a member of the Jamaican Defence Force, continue to live and operate in the shadows. They are shameless liars manipulating their way through American society while secretly working to destabilize it. Hmm. Wow. This kind of, no, this, um, this kind of reminiscence of some things that's been going on right now in a Jamaica. <laughs> yes. You understand? This is not new. This sounds like something that has been brewing and going on in a Jamaica. Because we see what is happening right now, them shameless. So the ultimate goal is to erode the democratic, democratic foundation, not only of the United States, but also of other nations, including Jamaica. It is crucial to recognize this hidden threat and take action. We must identify and expose these infiltrators, ensuring that they no longer arm the institutions and values that def define our democracy. By shedding light on their true intentions and actions, we can protect our nation and uphold the principles of freedom and justice we hold here. Hey, I don't really think about it on them thing there. Because normally when um, you retire from the military or various um, federal agency, you know, you normally can, you know, easy if you become a lobbyist, you, know, you understand? Yeah, when we say a lobbyist, you get to work with a whole heap of, any you know, you know um, big company, them are organization in Washington, D.C. And you still make uh, even more money than that you were making when you're in the federal government because of your experience. So why some people wouldn't, why some people they are not doing that, they are doing other things. As them say right here, for try to destabilize um, from within America. For effect, um, for destabilize Jamaica. They want to do it from inner America for destabilize. Um, that kind of, uh, yeah, that kind of really, really. No man, hey, this is some serious thing, you know, man. You understand? So these infiltrators you know, <laughs> may seem like patriots on the surface, but their allegiance lies elsewhere. Okay, so they are trying now. Oh, so the reason why they are trying now to destabilize Jamaica now, they want to put the put them party, them party in a power, so that the Russian them now can get a stronger footing in Jamaica and the Chinese because them still are work against America. My, wow. Yeah, so due to time constraints, we must break this video into a series to ensure we provide all the necessary information. Data is everything today and we must adhere to these limitations. This is part one of a two-part series if you are eager to access the entire video series now you know consider subscribe to our patreon by doing so you will support our channel and gain early access to our content 
we value your understanding and support. If you want to see the video in its entirety, in its fullness, you can join the Patreon and access the early bird to see and hear for yourself. We provide a context and use platforms like Patreon, Vimeo to share meaningful content and raise awareness about issues affecting our homeland and place of birth, Jamaica. Access to information and education is crucial in addressing complex societal challenges and we are making this content available to those who seek it. We appreciate your interest in Jamaican culture social issues and our content so by supporting initiatives like ours you are not just a viewer but a vital part of our community playing a significant role in driving positive change this is your opportunity to make sure a real impact we are genuinely grateful for your dedication to making a difference in the lives of others we are confident you will find the video enlightening. So let's build this movement together. If you resonate with our message, we appreciate you. Wishing you a wonderful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.